Hey, we have a cell. Come on. Where are you taking us, Erica? We're gonna head off to uh, to shooting spot. Come on. Shooting spot. Yeah. Well, what about the gun? It's right here. So this bag by Copper Basin, meant for takedown rifles like the Ruger 1022, actually works with quite a few other platforms, as we've found including one of our favorites. So this would be your upper and your lower, but instead keep the cannon here, magazine here, and we've got our Zenith Z5RS. Very discreetly carried, very capable firearm. All right, so I admit this is a bit difficult to film, but I wanted to give you a closer look at the Copper Basin bag that we had out there. Now this was intended for the Ruger 1022 takedown model, but it fits other guns as well, and that's what we've been using it for. So from the outside, you have what appears to be just a standard kind of hiking pack with the uh, bungees and you know some nice non-tactical colors. We have a decent mesh pouch here, a larger one, which worked for us for a box of ammo. Also has elastic, which would be handy for magazines. Yet another exterior that's even bigger that has a catch on it, so you don't lose important stuff like keys. And another thing that impressed me about this, along the bottom, it's rubberized. You have this nice texture here to not only waterproof but also uh, help keep the weight and muzzle of a gun from pushing through and printing. Very important on the side are your standard meshed bungee water bottle style pockets. You can use this for just about anything, but I think a water bottle is a great use for it, especially when you're out hiking um, and for keeping it low profile. On the back side, we have a bit of padding here and a nice mesh. The straps themselves are lightly padded with moisture wicking mesh and plenty of attachment points. You have a sternum strap and a carry handle. And the other side we also have a water bottle pocket. So let's take a look inside and I'll show you how it looks there. There's also of course a top pocket for documentation, that type of thing. Not the deepest, but it is nice and brightly lined to make it easy to find things in there in low light. Opening up the bag, it opens from one side along the top and down around the bottom, as you saw when I did on the car outside. We'll open this so up with and it take opened up. We've got our organization. Now we don't have a Ruger 1022 takedown, so I can't say particularly how you would set this up if you had one. I imagine the lower our rear half and front half. Two pockets here which we used for suppressor and magazine. A big mesh pocket here uh, with magazine loops inside of it. And straps for tightening things down. Now it fit for us just fine with the Z5RS from Xenu and a folding stock. Plenty handy. But I imagine you could also fit other guns just as easily and that's one of the things we wanted for to For example, out. the Alaskan 45 Colt takedown from Kiapa and Taylors and Company fits just perfectly. Easy enough to uh, store. You have room here for there to be an optic on here, which is great. Um, and you've got a lightweight, compact, easy way to carry a gun to your shooting spot, to a hunting spot, whatever reason you feel you need to, uh, to carry something discreetly, or maybe even just using for going to and from the range. If you live in one of those cities or areas, where it's not good to be seen with a tactical bag. I think this is a great option and it's very nicely constructed, padded all the way around to prevent printing and to be long lasting and comfortable. Um, it's almost one of those things where you get it and then you want to create uses for it because it's just such a, a well designed bag. So that's the bag from Copper Basin. Let me know what your thoughts are down below and if you think you've got a gun you'd use for this.